Good day guys, coming here. Welcome to Languiza M. So on this part three to the challenge three of the villainous will. So I'm gonna go to review guys a black tech method. So yep. Um, apparently um, well you can check on the skills of Ainz. He has teleportation, he has AoE and a bit of debuff. But yeah, we'll be using the princess team and top up with a healing reversal. So Apparently the blue slime um, will increase damage taken for ally uh, for your team if I'm not wrong. Yep. But our main concern will be the green slime because we're gonna do some healing reversal on its own goal. So the higher rank your list style is, the easier the game's gonna be, or should I say the faster that you're gonna be clearing the stage. So yep, right off the bat, gonna do some buff clearing of the enemy and we shall be using Chris. yep one of our MVP will be Chris. so if you do not have characters like Yuria Chris is a very good option and not only that she has two range attacks so you're gonna get some time to switch attack and then we're gonna be using Listel so okay so on the first turn we're just gonna get all characters aligned gave Ein some space to get close to us teleport so you either teleport on the first turn on the second turn so no rush so all right we are trying to get and pull all enemies as close as possible we'll try to destroy um the green slime before they came to us and we're trying to bait the green uh, sorry we will try to destroy the blue slime before they get to us and we will try to bait the green slime to us so all right mvp is gonna be my wife list now so whoa almost too dangerous for crease and yep remember to constantly heat up for well our waifu so all right this stage is gonna be quite um simple and straight um so basically it's a black tech method and just use make use of list tail talent and give Ein a lot and lots of healing reversal and all characters will be playing on single target skills so yep and we do not need to bring three c's for luna so yep just to make things easier so you can get um faster chance to speed up um to push her a princess faction buff So I remember to constantly heal up team who are in low HP. So right, uh, we're gonna take the AOE of Ainz. So, Alright. So we should be able to start attacking those crazy slime in another turn. So right. So we gotta first defeat and finish off the blue slime. Yep. All right, he's gonna give some weird buff to Liana. So, all right. So, very grateful that um, I learned this from another, uh, from the CN server. So, this trick is gonna be uh, proving fairly easy. If not, it's definitely gonna take a lot of time just to defeat the stage. Right, and so aside from Listel, the next MVP will be Luna because um, staying close to Luna will help reduce the magic damage that the whole team will be taking. So, yep. Then we're just gonna go whack Ein. So once the slime is gonna heal, they're gonna take. He's gonna take damage, and we will. Be finishing this game pretty fairly soon compared to a normal run oh gosh all right um well at least we survived so now it's time for us to use list out either you can aoe list out or we'll just normal attack lines so the main concern is to let him be damaged by 
this tail and let her talons take place and we will start finishing off the green slime so right if you're pretty low on your faction bar feel free to use lunatic cast if not well just do the normal attack right so you'll be seeing the gratefulness of the healing reversal so yep just without attacking eyes and he already we already take off like seven to eight percent of his life that's cool hmm right shall be using luna to finish off the blue slime and then moving back to my team hmm. so if you guys want to speed up um most pro most likely will be Chris because of her range skills and the ability with passive to heal allies so you might want to do AA on her instead as part of these or well, you can do it on Luna just for the faction buff so apparently next turn Chris will be having a skill back so I will not be using AA and instead I will prioritizing on giving buff and now two of the slime are getting close and yep one two three so the healing range is three squares of tiles so this is very good we definitely gonna need this tile to hit on eins ones and they will be we will be moving on to finish off the two closest slime oh yay pick eins yep you're gonna become pickles and you're gonna die so yep and now the healing reversal so apparently my list is only rank 5 so um, it's not at 50% it's just like 40% of healing reversal and if you are at rank 6 you will be able to do 50% healing reversal and that will most likely allow you to finish off Ains faster than me by at least a turn or two mm. So now we'll be waiting for the green slime at the top to move down. So all right, just to spit thing up, causing a spiral. And well, we can choose to end turn if you're not confident or just normal attack straight. Yep, I'm moving on to the center as close as possible. So okay, feel free to spam on Liana skills like AOE healing or single target. Just um, make sure to use AA on the correct person when you need it especially if you're on very low health and you still have bar feel free to AA crease to attack either Ains or any of the slime for regeneration for your team so yep gosh so right kind of in the wrong positions um, pretty near the blue slime but oh well it's okay Hey, thank goodness I can shift away. Then we're gonna use list gel again. No one attack eyes, then kaboom the green slime because they're all gonna be died like pickle. So right, um Yep, here you go, Lana. So healing reversal, yay, that's what we like. And yep. So it's kind of wasted on this attack I shouldn't Personally I feel I shouldn't have cast the skill I should just normal attack Ainz Cause well, everyone is almost at full health So yep So right we're gonna need another turn for the slime to get closer Before we can do the trick again So hmm. Okay so while I'm at it Just try to heal off all allies while at low HP as much as possible and remember to stay close to Luna to reduce damage due by magic. So again on this turn, uh, apparently Lana ha Liana has a debuff, so I should have 
and Liana's turn and then use Kreese to cast spell or attack him so that in return you heal back Liana and herself so okay so this stage is pretty much um, alright for this black tank um, there is a lot of room for mistakes so as long as you survive so yep Yep, Ice is not dealing too much of a damage because of Luna 30% damage uh, magic reduction. So yep. Right, using Lana to finish off the blue slimes again. And gonna save. So we have one, two, three, so okay. <laughs> Okay, just do an AoE. So I might have to wait for another turn. So yep. The healing range one, two, three. Hmm. Oh well, just speed up and just do a normal attack. And Liana's gonna be healing us again, so no worries. So alright, holy hue, everyone's back. So yep, we just gotta wait for next turn. Oh my god, sky falls again and a lot of damage reduction, so yep. So at the same time we are getting some debuff and by right I should have ignored the blue slime at this stage you can just normal attack eyes and destroy either of the green slime and he should be dead. So yep. So apparently it's a mistake I make I shouldn't have used Chris to attack Ayn so yep. But anyway yep he's dead for sure so <laughs> Okay just attack any of the slime and voila kudos to the black tank of healing reversal and congratulations guys we have defeated and beat the game so right we'll be looking at characters build and they are all from the princess faction except for listel so yeah my wife listel is saving my ass again Okay, let us have a look. Yep, wife Listel. So just try to boost up her HP and magic defense as much as possible with any available items you have. You don't have to go with the exact build I did, but the most important part will be building up on her HP. Then, all right, um, Princess Faction, we're gonna have Lana. We'll be doing single attack, so just try to boost her intelligence as much as possible. Same for Liana, healing percentage, intelligence. Then Luna, mm, yep, just magic defense and remember to bring her buff and make sure allies stay close to her as she's not your main attacker. And yep, and then the MVP will be Chris. I uh, ripped this off from my Urias build, so yep. And gotta give a true cross because Ainz is a mage, so having true true cross will do extra bonus damage against Ainz, yep. So that's very important, so we have come to the end, bye bye.